Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be talking about the 1963 Australia half penny, going over the value, the information, the history, everything you want to know about it. We always start with the design, so we'll start with the front here. We've got Queen Elizabeth II, a portrait of her, um, and she has the lettering around her, meaning Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen Defender of the Faith, and that's engraved by Mary Gillick, while the back of the coin was engraved by George Cougar Gray. You can see the KG right there signifying that, and he just put a kangaroo on the back and nothing too crazy outside of that. Um, this coin was made from 1959 to 1964, so with a specific design. Uh, so this was a little towards the end of that. It was obviously during Elizabeth II's reign. She started in 1952. Um, and this would have been just a coin to be spent in change. It's a half penny, meaning that 480 of these would compose one Australian pound, which was made from 1910 to 1966, before they demonetized these coins so that they could switch over to a base 100 instead of a base 240 pennies uh, system, as the uh, Australian pound had done. Um, it's bronze, almost all of it is copper, with the remainder being tin and zinc. And uh, right here, it, you can see it's a little bit bigger than a U.S. nickel, 25.5 um, millimeters, and I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but yeah, 5.67 grams of the copper. It's metal aligned, so you can rotate it kind of horizontally. Um, some of these were made at the uh, Melbourne Mint, but those were only a few proof coins. The main place was the Perth Mint. Uh, 16,410,000 of them were made at Perth in 1963. In this condition, it's probably worth like a dollar or so. Dollar fifty cents, um, but if you get one in super nice, kind of all red, like if it was like that all the time, uh, you can definitely get uh, a nice upside on the value. So certainly um, there can be decent coins. This is definitely not worth one four hundred and eightieth of a Australian dollar, which would be less than one cent. So you want to hold on to these coins, fun collector ones, but not huge, huge value potential either. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram, at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own. CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests. As well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.